In this video, I'm going to explain you how to learn VFT programming by using a simulator. I will help you to get a simulator for you and then I will let you know how to use that simulator. You will be able to understand how to use that simulator to learn parameterization of a VFT. You would also be able to understand how to run a motor by using a VFT in a forward and reverse direction by using this particular simulator. Step number one is to get the simulator. In order to get the simulator, you have to write in Google. You have to write Yaskawa VFT simulator. Option one is you have to go to their website and find a simulator over there. If you go to the software request software, you will be able to get a simulator from here. You can see there are two different versions available over here. Click on any of the option over here and get the software. For that, what you have to do is you have to click on this file and you see the software download is started. This simulator have very less option and it's very difficult to use that simulator to learn VFD properly. So what's the best pay? Now let me share with you another way to get that and that's the best way and from that way you will find the best simulator which would have all required option and it's gonna be best for you. All you need to write here make sure you would be writing exactly same wording drive programming simulator 1.4 software informer. If you would write it like this you will definitely find the right version. If you click on that website, the first one on the top, you see here you got in programming simulator 1.4. Make sure another thing which is very important for you to understand, once you would be clicking that the file size here is 71. So you have to click on the download button over here. You can see that download is already been started. It will take a while and then you would be able to open up the software. Now you can see. The file has been already downloaded. All you have to do is you have to click on open folder from here. Now you have to right click extract to. This is your setup file. All you have to do is right click and run as administrator. Please make sure that you are running as administrator. Now it's going to take some time to install that package. Now you would be clicking on next. I accept the license, click next, and then next. Installation is now in progress. The installation process is complete. Now the next step is to click on finish. Now you can see that the software is opening up. This is the interface we have for the simulator. It have different options like start simulator project, open project, and parameter operations. We would click on start simulation project. You can see the interface open up. Here you would be writing a project name. I'm writing VFD underscore simulation. Username is no man. And then you can write whatever information you want here. I would prefer keeping it blank. Then the next step is click on OK. Now you can see there are a few details available here. There are different series of a VFD which are available. It's port A1000, P1000 and U1000. There are different software versions you can choose from here. You can choose different models. And also you can choose the control method. You can also change region. For the simulation purpose, I will highly recommend you not to change anything. Just click on the select drive. New window would pop up. It have three options. Start programming simulator, view edit parameters and print all drive parameters. First of all, I would recommend you to click on start programming simulator. Just close that. This is your interface for the simulator. The drive right at the moment is in off condition. There is no display, there is nothing. So first step is to power on that drive. You will do that from here. You would click and you can see that now your drive is on. In a by default condition, this drive would be taking parameters from here. This is your analog input, 0 to 10 volt signal. Based on 0, you would be able to see that your frequency would be 0. In a by default parameterization of a VFT, motor is set to the maximum frequency of 60 Hz. If you would give a max value 10, your frequency value here 
your frequency here would be 60. This is your button for running that motor in a forward direction and this is for running it in a reverse direction. So when I would click on this you would be able to see that ready signal is there and motor is ready to run. But right now as we are having nothing from here we have a zero value from analog input of 0 to 10 volt that's why you can see that frequency value here is zero. Let me gradually increase it to the five value. If you have a max value of 60 hertz for the frequency, then at the five value, you should have a 30 hertz over here. So let me give it a value and you would see that motor would start running right now in a forward direction. If I give it a value, almost five. Yes, now you can see that it's around about 30 and motors start gradually increasing the speed to the max value. Now you can see that motors start gradually increasing the speed as our frequency value or frequency input at the moment is 30 Hz. If you increase it to the max value, now you can see that motors start ramping up again and speed is also increasing. And now your frequency input here, you can also see that it's set to 60 Hz. So if you brought it down, you can see that motor speed is gradually decreasing. These are your parameters, frequency reference. This is your output current. This is your torque. This is your output frequency. Now let's make this analog input value to zero volt. So you can see that now the value is zero, frequency is also zero. Let's turn it off. Now I want to run that motor in a reverse direction. For that, I would click on this reverse button. This S2 is for reverse. Now if I will gradually increase the input from here, you would see that motor start running in a reverse direction and it would gradually gain the speed. I give it a max value. You can see the frequency is changing. You can see the speed is also changing. It will reach to the 60 gradually, ramping up to the max value. You can see the speed is also increasing. Now you can see that this is the max RPM. This drive status is also showing you that motor right now is running in a reverse direction. Let me stop this, give it a value zero, and let's get into the parameterization option. It's the time to close that window and get into the parameterization. Now I will try to train you on how to do parameterization of a VFT. Let's close that. All you have to do is you have to go to the parameter overview. You can see that all the parameter options are available here from A, B, C, D up to R. So what you have to do is, for instance, I have to change the parameters. To enable this digital operator, we have to change two parameters. We will go to the B, and in B you have B101, B102. This is your reference selection, and this is your operation method selection. So I will click on that, and I will change that parameter to 0 instead of 1. And also, I would change this second parameter, which is B101, I would change it to the zero as well. Save. Why I'm doing that, it would enable this digital operator. So now you can see that this has been done. If you want to change the max frequency, you have to go to E, which is motor parameters. Then you would go to E1, and in E1, this is your maximum output frequency. This is by default 60 Hertz. If you want to change it to some other values, you can definitely do that. Let me change it to 40 max value. Now I change it to 40, save working value, accept, and that's how to do it. And the second thing, which is your base frequency, I would also love to change it to 40 value instead of by default value 60. So click on save working value. Now you can see that this has been changed. Now let's go back to programming simulator and play around with that. I would first of all turn on the power. I would run it. And once it's running, then I will click enter. Now you can see that this is your frequency. So if I would uh, move the cursor from here, I can change the frequency. Let me give it one. To giving a value 1, this is your increase button, this is your decrease button. If I would press it one, one time, you can see this is 1. If you would press it second time, it would be 2. So let me, uh, pr let me change it to 2. And I will try to run that motor at 25 hertz frequency. So let me go, that let me change this value as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 
I'm clicking this button, okay? So five. Now click enter. Now you can see that motor start running and it's running at 25 hertz. Now you are controlling this drive from the operator screen instead of this analog input. If you would stop it, it would stop gradually as it was done in previous explanation. Now it would also stop gradually. You can see that it's ramping down to the value zero. It's now off. Close that. If you want to know more, all you have to do is you have to go to the help and go to the drive deck, go to the drive documentation. Then it, there is program help. Here you got a complete explanation about this VFD. Very good help for you to give it a start. I would recommend you use that resources and learn more about the parameterization of VFD and understand how VFD works. With that, I would conclude today's video. If you like this video, if you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.